Hello again, everybody. Week four, Operation Football. Two of the top three teams in the state in Class A meet tonight in Gretna, the home of the Dragons, hosting Millard South in a battle of unbeatens, a game at least on paper that deserves to be this week's monster matchup. KETV Newswatch 7's Matt Foster has the game story from Gretna. Entering week four of the high school football season, just five teams remained unbeaten in Class A. Two of them met Friday night in Gretna as 3-0 Millard South made the trip to the home of the 3-0 Dragons. Opening drive for the Patriots, Jet Tamala flushed out of the pocket. No worries. He hooks up with Amarion Jackson for the 27-yard touchdown, 7-0 South after the first. In the second, the Patriots adding to their lead. Gabe Pruka from short yardage doubles the Patriot advantage to make it 14-0. Millard South's defense then getting in on the action. Tip ball falls into the hands of Dylan Cool and watch Cool go to work. Bobbin, weaving. He's not going down anytime soon. Dragon defenders trying to bring him down, but he will not be denied. 43-yard pick six for number six. 21-0 Millard South. But the Patriots weren't done in the first half. Tamala throwing a 13-yard swing pass to Pruka and let the running back do the rest. 28-0 Millard South at the break. And in the third quarter, the Patriots, here's the cherry on top. How about a halfback pass? Pruka to a wide open Amarion Jackson, 39 yards to the house to make it 35-0. And Millard South goes on to blow out Gretna 38-7. We've honestly got really close as a team. We've been hanging out a lot, getting like close. We all love each other. We're just out here playing as a team for each other. These kids didn't flinch. Um, and again, they're practicing really well. So um, they know that it's only game four and they just keep getting bigger. So um, enjoy this one tonight. And then we're on to North Star this Thursday. After the game, Millard South head coach Ty Wisdom talking to his team saying that was a good old fashioned butt whooping, except he didn't say butt. Reporting at Gretna High School, Matt Foster, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. Well, oh, thank you, Matt. This is a family program. Omaha North, the only ranked Class A school in the Metro that played last night. The Vikings blanked Benson 56 0, improving to 3 and 1 on the season. All right, how about top ranked Westside hosting the Mustangs and the Warriors getting to work? They don't waste any time. Very first play on offense. Anthony Rezac, Christian Jones, 81 yards to the house from the reigning state champs. Not looking back. Rezac. Keeping it on the read, it goes 30 yards. Warriors up 14-0, start of the second quarter. Then it's Rezac calling his own number again. Westside big winners, 49-7. Over at Buell Stadium, Creighton Prep, Millard West, Junior Jays quarterback, Tony Caniglio under heavy pressure. Brayden Kigger and Trey Millistet with the sack. And then it's Millard West quarterback Brody Peterson to Jackson Williams deep on a beautiful night. Beautiful play. Millard West now 3 and 1. They win 20 to 7. Solid victory. Over in Elkhorn, homecoming for Elkhorn South. Storm hosting Omaha Central. 3 0 home team when number one Brady Busquet finds Pater. 9 0 Elkhorn South, who then turn up the defense. Henry Prohaska, Teddy's younger brother, the sack, sets up another field goal, makes it 12-0 at half. Storm goes on to win 32-21. To Burke Stadium, homecoming for the Bulldogs. Burke hosting Papio South, second quarter. After a punt, Sam Schuler, four-yard touchdown. Then it's Schuler again. Another touchdown. Titans pulling away. Papio South rolls 51 to eight and Omaha Bryan at Buena Vista. First points of the game. Isaiah Morgan from close range bears up seven nothing. Then watch on the punt return. Jeremiah Gorham weaving in and out of traffic. He takes it to the house and Omaha Bryan's three and one. Bears taking care of Buena Vista 63 to three. Also a final out west. Carney knocks off Bellevue West 16-14. All right. Halftime here on Operation Football. Up next, our fan favorite game from Council Bluff, and it was a doozy. But first, to send us to break, here are the Blair cheerleaders.